when I was about 23 years old and studying mechanical engineering in Berlin, I did an internship that completely changed my perspective of what's possible for my career and what I want to do with my life. I probably wouldn't even be sitting here making videos without having had this experience. So I wanted to share with you what happened and maybe this will help you see your own career in a new light as well. Who knows? Hey and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I'm a German mechanic engineer based in Sweden. This is gonna be a bit of a different video since I didn't really prepare a script and I dressed a little bit more formal than usual to match the job that I'm gonna be talking about. But basically what I thought I would talk about is first of all what my situation and career goals were before I had this job or internship, then how I ended up at that job, how it changed me and my situation and career goals afterwards. So let's start about with my situation before that. So at this point I was maybe about two years into my bachelor's studies and I needed to find an internship real quick. <laughs> Since as mechanic engineering students at the Technical University of Berlin we have two mandatory internships that we have to do. One of them is like your preparation internship where you're physically working in a factory and learning how to do metal work like milling, turning, drilling, filing, all of the things that help you understand how things are made so that you're gonna be able to design things that can actually be built because oh uh, there's a lot of <laughs> There's a lot of things that engineers design that end up being impossible to produce. So to avoid that, we are supposed to have this six week internship, which is of course not nearly enough to cover everything, but it's better than nothing, right? But so we have this like physical internship. And then the second internship we have to do is a three months internship in a job that we might do later on as an engineer. This can be, you know, as a design engineer or in a project management position or anything really related to engineering. And at the time I was studying abroad in France and I didn't really have much time to find something. I also didn't really <laughs> care so much at that time because I was just like really focused on being in France and so I just like looked real quick on LinkedIn and I found this job posting for an internship at a consultancy and this consultancy would basically help startups and small to medium sized companies with their technical development projects and help them create a business plan and apply for government funding all of those sorts of things and then as an intern I would be a project assistant to just do everything that's related to that kind of work and I don't know it just like <laughs> stood out to me looked kind of cool and they were looking for like an industrial engineering student which is a little bit more related to business but I just applied anyway and they didn't mind that I didn't have any business classes before so I got the job I didn't even apply anywhere else and then when I came back to Berlin I started this internship and my career goals at this point were really non-existent <laughs> really like I don't know as a I know that as a high school student I I always dreamt of being a manager one day, even though I didn't really know what that entailed, uh, to be honest, but I had no like specific idea of what I wanted to do. And then the whole reason I went into engineering was just that I liked math and physics, but I didn't have any idea of what engineers really do in their daily work. So I couldn't really be like, I want to be this kind of engineer. Yeah, didn't really have a clear picture of where I wanted to go. And the only engineers I knew were my engineering professors. And I knew that definitely did not want to be like them. <laughs> and so I started this job. I was supposed to do things like write business plans for startups, research different technologies to see if there was any competitors out there, basically doing like due diligence on these different startups that the company might take on as customers. And the reason it was really important to be selective in which startups you take on as this consultancy is that the consultancy wasn't paid directly by the startup, but by the funding that the startup would get with the help of the consultancy. So if the funding didn't happen, they would not get paid similar to I guess how lawyers get paid in many cases as well that they will get paid a percentage of what a winning case brings but then they might not get anything if they lose the case I don't know anything about lawyer pricing that's just what I saw on uh, Aaron Brockwich <laughs> uh, but like this is pretty much how it works and it was a pretty small consultancy everyone was like really close and there was quite a lot going on so I wasn't really explained too much of how I should be doing my job I was just given assignments like business plans to write and then they would just send me the link to the document and tell me to write on that and tell them when I'm done I had never even learned about what a business plan is before this point and definitely not ever written one so I just spent my time like 
googling how to write a business plan, figuring out like how to create a pitch deck because this is another thing I had to do or figure out how to make a project plan, how to make a financial business plan, how to write texts about the different founders, all of these random things that you need to do when you apply for funding. And then one thing I also got to do was attend these meetings that the consultants had with the startup founders. I was completely new to the world of startups and I was shocked by how like normal these people were. I'm not trying to discredit what they were doing, it was really impressive. You know, the ideas they came up with and how they built them into a business, but the people themselves were not like geniuses. So I was like, wait a second, they can do that? You can just do that? You can just start a company? And I mean, of course, I know there's a lot of work involved in that, but it's not something that you cannot learn, I realized. Before this point, I had always thought that people who build great companies or even just people who start companies are like a different type of human, different species almost. But you know, they're all pretty average. I mean, most of them were well educated for sure, but they also didn't know how to write a business plan because they asked you know the consultancy to do it for them and didn't necessarily know how to make money off of their products or even had started out with a good idea there are a lot of startups that I learned about that actually didn't start out with a great idea they just saw a problem that they wanted to solve and then they had some idea of how they want to solve it but then over time they develop it into something else not really focusing too much on the product that they wanted to sell but the problem that they wanted to solve and those kind of ideas were were really interesting to me and just the fact that I I was writing business plans and building pitch decks and they were like okay I mean I, I know I didn't do like excellent work because I had never done this before but they weren't like <laughs> completely overhauling what I had written so that was a pretty cool experience and then I actually ended up transferring from being an intern to being a working student in the consultancy because well my internship was over and I had to go back to my studies but they did ask me if I wanted to work some hours every week afterwards. So I think I was working maybe 15 hours a week there after the internship. And then afterwards I actually decided to go work at a startup because I wanted to be even closer to like where the action is happening. At that job I was doing customer sales at first, another thing I'd never done before. I'm not a naturally born salesperson, that's for sure, but I learned a lot and again I googled my way through like how do you do a cold call, what kind of sales techniques can you use, how do you figure out what your customer wants. All of these things I was googling and learning a lot about at that time and then I transferred within that company to a different position which was maybe a little bit better suited to me. Like I was basically analyzing technical drawings and figuring out how much it would cost to produce these mechanical parts and so I got to take a look into like different parts of the startup which was again really enlightening and even though all of the people were quite impressive that were working in the startup they also weren't like genius geniuses like there were still regular people that just put a lot of work into this and maybe were in the right place at the right time but also were just putting themselves out there and doing stuff and trying out different things and so both the consultancy job and then later the job at the startup kind of open up this whole new world <laughs> Like, wait, you can do that? What? I mean, people are always a lot more impressive and unapproachable when you have never talked to them, right? But once you talk to someone, you realize that they too have thoughts, like they have struggles, they have undergone a journey. And I thought, well, if they can do it, I can do it, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and I think that you can too, if you want to. And it's really nice to know that you have the option, isn't it? Okay, so after that job, how did my perspective change? And what did I do about it? I mean, I hinted at this already a little bit, but basically what my goal became was to start a company one day. And I still have that goal to start a technical company. And I have read like a gazillion <laughs> business books since then because I got really hooked on this. I also ended up doing a business master called entrepreneurship and innovation management that I did next to my mechanic engineering master and now I'm again working at a startup even though it's quite the big startup already now. It still has this nature of a fast-growing fast-paced company and another thing I did was starting this YouTube channel which I think also just this kind of mind shift that wait a second other people that do things that I think are cool are not so 
different. Just got me thinking like I can just do whatever I think is cool to do. And what I thought was something really cool and fun to do was well make videos and put them on YouTube. So even though now it's I don't know three four years later I'm 26 now it still has effects on me and that's what I wanted to share. Now I would be super interested to hear what you think about starting a business. Has that ever crossed your mind? Is that a goal of yours? Why or why not? And let's have a discussion in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you in my next video.